Well, the last time you saw me, Mike on Good Times and myself on Contiki had anchored up in this spot here. He left to take care of some business, and I stayed behind, and I was really getting the itch to do some exploring. What's happening, everybody? Today I'm coming to you from inside the cabin, where I happen to be looking around on the computer. This is a map of where I'm at, and I was staying right around here. Where's my mouse? Right around here. That's where I'm anchored. Very close, I noticed this little spit of land, and it almost looks like you can get to it through this tree right here. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure, but in order to find out for sure, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a little exploring. I've got a Catch-130 that I can use. Sorry for the generator noise. I've got the Bass Raider. That's an awesome kayak. It's a little bit big, a little bit heavier than normal. Uh, the Bass Raider is bigger, of course. The Bass Raider makes a great dinghy, but up here on the bow of my boat, right, again, good time sitting over there. I'm standing on the grass on the uh, poop deck. I've got the Argo, and this little kayak right here is probably exactly what I need to get out there. So let's drop her overboard. Let's see, what do you think? Should be able to get her in the water without sinking, I hope. Oh yeah, look how easy. This little kayak is about 40 pounds, give or take. That's one of the reasons I love it. comfy seat and now I've got a way to film myself taking off the clamp that's like a go-to for me and I'm gonna connect the camera to this nice now the trick is to reach the line so I can untie it not an easy feat in a 10-foot sit inside Lucky for me, the Argo is very stable. Might need a paddle. We might need a rope too, so I'm going to take that with me. Alright. It always feels good to be paddling again. And it always feels weird to see how small my home is from only a short distance away. But no time for that. Onward to exploration. Brazilian pepper? No bueno. Let's see if we can make it. I've got to use caution because the water is very fresh over here. Oh, let's see. Just 
trying to keep my eyes open. Wow, that's thick. I'm gonna make sure I bring some of this back with me. This way I leave the place a little nicer than I find it. There's areas over here that have been rooted up. If I had to guess, I'd say there's pigs on this island. Huh, that's interesting. I'm trying to keep my eyes open, make a little bit of noise. You see that there? That looks like a place where something dug up the ground. Okay. Alright, we'll go forward, make sure we make some noise so we don't scare anything and so they don't scare us. Should have left breadcrumbs. I see an opening right there. How do we get to it? Right up to the forge head. Mm. That's the way. Mm. That's the way. See it? See the destination? Aside from the sounds in the background, of the uh, Florida light and power, I might as well be in the middle of nowhere. Oof. These are the types of things that having a kayak allows you the ability to explore places that most people don't go. I want to say thank you to Pelican for providing the little Argo that is going to accompany me on many journeys and cheers to you guys for coming along with me. I may not be able to tell you how to uh, maintain engines properly or do a lot of things properly but one thing I do want to encourage you to do and I think I am good at is uh, getting people to go out there explore, paddle, fish, hike a trail, do things that maybe are outside of your uh, comfort zone because on the way you might create some amazing stories. Thanks again guys for coming along with me.
I was uh, successful. <clears throat> I almost puked from having the camera in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to reshoot that. I call that a successful mission. Imagine how many more places there are going to be to explore along the Great Loop and how many places there might be close to where you live that have yet gone unexplored by you. <sighs> Hopefully we both find out in the future.